All right, Libra viewers, I'm going to look into what your person is thinking, uh, feeling, and what action they might be taking towards you over the next couple weeks. So, Libras. For the Libras that are watching this video, this could be an ex, could be a soulmate, twin flame, current person, new person coming in. Um, just depends on, on what your situation is. All right. So... Libra viewers, what do you need to know about your love life right now? Libra viewers, what do you need to know about your love lives? Guess a lot's going on. That was a lot of cards I pulled. <laughs> Five of Swords, Temperance, Queen of Swords. So I think somebody's learning how to balance out their temper a little bit better. Three of Swords, King of Cups, Two of Pentacles. So it's a pretty good reading, actually. Two of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, The Magician. Knight of Swords. Okay, good energy. Somebody is trying to manifest um, something with you here, it looks like. Okay, so I see two separate stories here. For some of you, I feel like you are in karmic situations and your masculine is about to come forward and leave the karmic, but I think that he had to see it for himself. It's like not you couldn't really do anything. You just kind of had to wait it out. He had to see for himself that she was no good for him. So... So again, two different groups here. I'll tell I'll tell both stories um, just really quick here. So for one group, this is your masculine's karmic with the five of swords, and she's very defensive, very bitter, very jealous, very angry, um, very negative, very confrontational. There's a lot of back and forth fights with her. Um, she tried to do better for a little while with temperance. She tried to balance herself out. She tried to calm down. It was almost just a front, though. It was like she was pretending because she didn't want to lose him, you know? Like, I think he was kind of pulling towards you and, and just wanting a, a life away from her. And she begged him to stay and said, you know, no, please, I can do better. Just stay with me. Um, so she put on this front and kind of pretended like she had this emotional balance, but she really didn't. Um, but, you know, for a while she was appearing as the Queen of Swords. She was appearing as someone, still not what he wants, though, because he's the King of Cups, you see? So it still wasn't quite right for him. Um, with the with the Queen of Swords, it's like she was still very logical and very, I'm not, I don't know if logical is the right word, just very bitter, very cold, very um, strict, and, and kind of more serious than what he was looking for. Um, very you know, like kill or be killed kind of mindset, I think. And it was the same heartbreak with her. And so he's moving on. Um, and so this, and for, for another group, there is no karmic situation, but this is you, where you guys were having fights. This is for somebody, this is for a few of you that I think were actually in a relationship with your masculine. I think that there was like some backstabbing and betrayal, maybe cheating, or just like having fights, arguments, dis disagreement, ghosting, miscommunication. Um, and you guys were trying to balance, you were trying to balance yourself out and be more steady and level-headed and be more logical and stable. Um, and you guys were trying to find a balance and, and save this relationship. But, um, let's see. It's got to take a second and just look at it and try to see what I can channel, what else I can channel from it. I just think this is like for a couple of you. I think this not, it's not the majority. It's just a few of you where this was you and you were trying to find a balance and you guys were trying to find a balance in your relationship and do better. Um, but it still ended in heartbreak. But, um. You know, someone said screw it and left, and now they're kind of regretting that. And they're, this is if you guys were together. Um, and they, you know, someone said screw it and left, and now they're kind of regretting it, and they're wanting to come back in and balance things out again and, and manifest you back in their life, and they're wanting to come forward with an apology. That's for a small, like, just a few of you. I think the majority of you, I think this is probably about the karmic. Um, about a karmic relationship or some kind of connection that was holding him back away from you. This could be even like a mother figure or something. It doesn't necessarily have to be uh, 
um, I mean, it's another woman, I feel, or another, could be another man, but I, I feel that energy of, um, I mean, it's like a karmic relationship, but I, it doesn't necessarily have to be romantic. It would just be somebody or something that was, like, holding him back from you. You know what I mean? But, um, but yeah, for the majority of you, I think that's the first story is, is you know, there was just fights and, and, and um, you know, just this lack of balance and just this unhappy energy between him and his karmic or him and this person that was holding him away from you. And they tried to find a balance, but it's just not happening. And, you know, it's still just not the energy that he wants. He would rather, the King of Cups would rather be with his Queen of Cups. He would rather be with somebody who's soft and empathetic and loving and nurturing. He didn't really like this Queen of Swords energy too much. Like, it was still very harsh and very, you know, cutting right to the chase. It was very... um it was very heartbreaking for him. Like, he felt like he couldn't be himself with this karmic. He couldn't be vulnerable with her. I think she was very... She was almost the kind of person that would just make him, like, feel like he wasn't enough of a man if he was too vulnerable. Like, he didn't feel like... Like, that was not his safe space. He felt like he just could not be open and be soft with her. She was just too harsh. She was just too cold and bitter. Um, and he got tired of that energy. It was heartbreaking. But... He's in his King of Cups energy, and he's wanting his Queen of Cups. He's wanting you. He's wanting somebody that he can be himself with. He's wanting a, a much deeper, more real, solid connection. He's wanting somebody that he can be emotional with, that he can be romantic with, that he can be vulnerable. Because the man that I'm channeling, the men that I'm channeling in this video, they're very soft and vulnerable and loving, and they haven't really gotten the chance. Whatever the situation was in the past, they did not have the chance to be open and vulnerable and loving, but they want to coming forward. Um, with the Two of Pentacles here, they're just kind of trying to find that, um, like, that balance, you know what I mean? They're trying to, if they're working a lot or not working enough, they're kind of just trying to balance work and, and finances and career and hobbies and you and everything else. They're, um, they might be trying to find a balance, too, if they're trying to come in and communicate with you because this could be, I feel like this is somebody that hurt, might have hurt you in the past or been distant in the past, either because they were with the karmic or because you guys were together before and you guys had all these arguments and, and they left or you left. So it's like there is some pain in the past for sure, I feel. Um, and so with the Two of Pentacles here, I think that's that's part of the need to find a balance because they're like, well, I don't want to come on too strong, but I want to make sure they know that I'm, you know, interested in them again, in you. Um, they're, they're like, I, I don't want to... You know, I don't want to be overwhelming. I don't want to lay it all out there at once, but I also don't want to hold back too much and, and risk having this person not know that I love them. Um, so they're just kind of trying to find that balance and communicating with you. I almost feel like they might be, like, they, they want to reach out to you, and then it's like they stop themselves sometimes because it's like they don't know what to say. Because I think... If this is somebody that's wanting to apologize, they might be afraid of, like, saying too much and having it overwhelm you. But at the same time, they don't want to just, like, say, hey, what's up? And act like everything is totally fine if you guys have gone a long time without talking or if there was drama before or, like, heartbreak before between you guys. They don't want to just, like, message and just be like, oh, hey, what's going on? Because then, you know, you might get pissed off because you're going to be like, that's what, that's, you're just going to act like nothing happened. You're not going to come with an apology. So they are kind of, like frazzled right now like they don't know how to come to you they don't know how to approach you and they're trying to figure that out they're trying to figure out the proper balance um so that you'll accept them and with the page of pentacles with the page of pentacles they are um yeah they're working on manifesting that they're working on manifesting this new beginning with you with the um the magician too i think they're really if they if they do magic or they do anything like that like spiritually like trying to manifest you I, I feel that energy where they're just trying to they're really thinking about how to come forward and how to communicate and how to present this love offer to you and they know that they have to be more genuine and more authentic and that they have to be loyal to you and that they have to make you some kind of oath or a promise or something they know they can't just half ass it again they know that if they come back in that they need to make sure they do it right this time and that they have more honor and integrity and loyalty towards you um, for you to give them a second chance. You know, I think that's part of the fear, too, is that they know this would be their, their last chance with you if they came back in. 
Well, let's see I can, if I can get any further clarification on the King of Cups. Just anything else that your guides, anything else you guys want to, your guides want to say about the King of Cups? Anything that you should know right now? Or just anything that comes through. Fulfillment, so success, okay, it's good. Denial, beauty, loyalty. Yeah, see, there's that loyalty again. Like, he knows he needs to be more loyal to you. If he comes back around, he knows he has to do it right this time. See, I think this is kind of saying that, like, for those of you that were in a karmic situation, it's almost like he thought for a little bit that was his fulfillment. He thought that was going to be successful, um, but he was in denial, and he's realizing that now. He's realizing that that was not actually his person or his situation. It was just kind of comfortable. Um, for others, I feel like for a lot of you, he's realizing his fulfillment and his success, it's, it's like it's right in front of him. It's with you. It's, you know, the grass isn't always greener on the other side. Um, he was in kind of denial before and not really recognizing what he had with you and not, to, you know, fully appreciating it. But now he's starting to see your beauty. Um, and he's wanting to come in with a love offer, I feel. And he's wanting to be more loyal to you this time around. Um, I think that, you know, again, this is somebody that like either chose the karmic over you or there was just fights or miscommunication. There was just some lack of loyalty and stability and consistency with this masculine but um, if this is the, you know, the masculine I'm channeling, I do feel like he is an empathetic, loving person. He just doesn't always make the wisest choices. But he's, um, he's realizing your beauty now. He's seeing your strength and your empathy and your love. And he's seeing that you are the kind of person he could really open up to and be himself with. And that you would be his safe space. That you would be more understanding and empathetic than... Um, you know, his exes or karmics have been with him. And so he is wanting to be more loyal to you. Um, it is still a little bit of a process here with, with fragment and rigid. It's like he feels like he's not fully, like I think he's lost a part of himself. Whenever I see this card, I always think soul retrieval, like soul retrieval might be needed because it's like fragmented. It's like you're not fully yourself. It's like you lost little little pieces of your soul in a way. And it's like you got to call them back into you through a soul retrieval process with um an experienced shaman but um that's just always the energy i get when i see that card because it's like it's still a little bit rigid but let's see i think it's just a process i don't see it being a bad thing i think it's just a process and i think your masculine knows it's a process i think that if he hurt you he's just kind of aware that he's not going to win your trust back overnight but um show me what comes after rigid what comes after that and again, I don't think, it, I think it's mostly just, again, just a process. Just, he knows he messed up. He, he knows he wasn't giving you his full self and that he should have been. So what comes after that? What comes after rigid between you guys? The moon, movements, and reminder. Okay, that's good. That's good energy. It really is. Um, the moon is about, you know, kitty right here is about intuition, about, um, you know, he's not, he's not being um, overly logical or, like, guarding himself or being stuck in his head so much anymore. I think the moon energy could also be influencing him. Um, and he's just using his intuition a little bit more. He's really thinking about like, like, okay, like I don't care about what looks good on paper. I don't care if, 
you know, whatever with the karmic. He's like, I want something that feels good to me. I want, you know, that like cuddling and, and love and vulnerability and that closeness and empathy. He's like, I want that. I want that safe space, you know, because it feels like when he's got, had like a hard day at work or wherever school or wherever he goes, it's like he can't just come home and just relax with her. You know what I mean? It's like he wants to just come home and like cuddle and like just be able to talk and be able to be himself. And it's like he, he wasn't able to do that with her. Um, so, yeah, he's using his intuition more and he's he's reminded of you all the time. He's seeing the synchronicity and the signs that you're the right person for him. And he's he's wanting to move forward now with you and he's wanting to make things right with you. So that's the energy I get right now. Um, if this resonates, please like, share, um, subscribe. I'll be doing these, these Zodiac readings a couple times a month. So go ahead and subscribe to me if it resonates. Thank you guys for watching.